What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I expected this moment, and I knew it was coming sooner than later. So, I just watched Canelo versus Smith. As we all predicted, Canelo won his fight versus Liam Smith. At 154, became a junior middleweight champion. He stopped him with a vicious body shot in round nine. So, congrats for that. Post-fight, and I can't air that in this video, you have to understand YouTube is very strict with the copyright. That's HBO boxing shit. It was a pay-per-view, so I can't air it. You guys can find it on Instagram, Twitter. You have to do a little research. I can't put it on my YouTube channel for copyright reasons. Again, but post-fight, Canelo was talking with Max Kellerman, and he says, we don't really question that you would fight Golovkin, but it seems like your promoter is trying to keep you away from him. What do you think about that? And Canelo said something to the effect of, I'll fight him. I don't care. We offered him the fight two or three times, and I didn't want to say anything before the Liam Smith fight out of respect for my opponent. But now that this is out of the way, he beat Liam Smith. He says, I'll fight him. We offered him the fight two or three times, and he rejected the fight. Right? So according to Canelo. And I posted this, reposted this, but I'm going to go to Golovkin's page just so you guys know it's not Photoshop or foul play. I'm going to go to the official page. So Golovkin clearly probably watched the fight, was all ears, and this is his response. His verified page, you see, he says, I didn't expect that Liam Smith punched so hard and that Canelo would talk that nonsense after the fight. And it's a picture of him smiling. My friends, this is getting good. The stage is set for Canelo versus Triple G. I'm tired of waiting. A lot of people says, oh, Canelo's A-side and Triple G needs to come to 155. Canelo look big as hell. This is a great fight. This is the type of fight to bring the spotlight back to boxing with the fresh crop of fighters that are available. One defeat between the two of the fighters. Both guys have a punch, right? Golovkin needs to be tested resume-wise against a skillful guy around his size. Canelo, this would be probably his best win because, I mean, you could say a better opponent would be Floyd Mayweather because Floyd has accomplished more than Golovkin, but he lost that fight. So this would be Canelo, his best win. Golovkin won, beat Kell Brook. He hurt him, put him in the hospital. I mean, people... You could say he was exposed. I do. I, I agree that he was exposed to a degree. But, I mean, how exposed is he when he has this many belts still? And you gave him this belt. You just handed that here. Hey, no, give me. You know what I'm saying? You just handed him that. So, the exposed people are taken out of context. He was exposed to a degree in terms of people got to see certain vulnerabilities with him. But he still won the fight. This is the. This is a good fight, man. I'm sick of this back and forth banter. These two need to just fight. Um, I'm not. It's, it's not even about playing sides anymore. This is the fight that needs to happen for boxing. Do it for boxing. You guys both, especially Canelo. He keeps saying he's born ready, and I didn't see nothing special. And the world got to see the vulnerabilities that I already knew he had, and all this stuff after the Brook fight. Canelo's saying this. Let's stop talking. Let's see it. But that's Golovkin's response. Both guys say they're ready. Will Oscar make this happen? K2 make this happen? This is, is getting good, you know what I'm saying? Now it's getting some bad, and I always learned this, there's no friends in this boxing business when you're a fighter, you know what I mean? Because if they're in or around your division, it'd be one thing if you're like a heavyweight and you're friends with Nonito Donaire, because you guys will never have to face each other. But these guys, it was only a matter of time. They're both on top of their craft, and now you're getting a lot of back and forth. Golovkin saying he wants it. He wants that big name to shut people up and say, hey, I'm the best. And then Canelo, he wants to prove that he's the best. We got to just see this fight, man. I'm, I'm getting so sick of, of this back and forth with no action. Like Marshawn Lynch said, where I'm from, around where I'm from, the Bay Area. I'm about that. A he's like, hey, you're not talking much. He said, because I'm about that action, boss. So I, I want to see some action. Canelo looked good out there, which we all expected him to do against Liam Smith. And let's let's see it, man. That's all I can say is keep saying let's see it. This is the fight that needs to happen for boxing. And this will be, I mean, look at it like this. Canelo sold 51,000 and change. Or, you know, I mean, I'm sure they gave some away, but whatever. He had 51,000 people in attendance in the AT&T Stadium in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? He's clearly a star. 
I mean, there's no disputing he's the A side. I've yet to see Golovkin be the A side because we know Liam Smith flying over from the UK was not the A side in Texas. You know what I mean? Golovkin did a good crowd versus Kell Brook, but he got booed. So to me, that suggests that a lot of those fans were Brits and, and fans of Kell Brook because why would they boo him? I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people wanted to see Golovkin in the UK also, but this is Canelo's this is his fan base, you know what I mean? Nobody even knew who Liam Smith was. Look how many people are here. Canelo is clearly an A-side. I just want to see the fight, man. This is... I'm going to do videos every day. Like, I'm, I'm going to be working hard. You, you can't go through one of these guys' pages without them mentioning each other. It's just like Mayweather and Pacquiao. But their names are going to be keep being synonymous with each other. Triple G, Triple G. It's going to keep being synonymous with each other until they actually fight. And I told people, I made a separate video about this. Mayweather Pacquiao was its own unique situation. Drug testing, separate network, separate networks. Uh, Floyd had beef with his former promoter, who was the current promoter for Manny Pacquiao. We don't have this. These two are both fighting on HBO. Absolutely no reason why it can't happen. Canelo, look at his size. I mean, he's, he, he can make 160, clearly. He looked like he rehydrated to 172 or 173 tonight. This is the fight, man. Let me know what you guys think. Gennady Golovkin, Canelo, will it happen? Both fighters keep saying they're ready. I want to see that action. I'm about that action, boss. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you like my video as always. Hey, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.